Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a declutter video and I have been on a roll with these. I just felt in the mood to cleanse my room and just get our, get rid of bulk and this feeling of hoarding that I've had. And while I'm on this decluttering train, I'm going to ride it until it stops because I just go, um, I get this feeling every few months or so and... Before I stop getting that feeling, I'm going to try to declare as much as possible. And this is the container that I'm going to be going through. And these products are things that I pulled from what I call my beauty cabinet uh, that I took out because I knew I hadn't used it in a while or they're expired or I held on to these products just in case I needed to use them. So that's what we're going through today. And let's start with, this is the Nair uh hair remover lotion for legs and body and I never gave this a fair shake so I am going to do keep this in my keep for two weeks pile if I don't use it then I'm going to toss it next is the skintastic off or firm skintastic off smooth and dry it's bug spray and this is very old I have a newer one of these I don't know why I kept this around because I think <laughs> My problem is I buy something and I save it in case I'm going to use it so I don't feel like I wasted my money. But this is just, it's old. It needs to go. And I'm not one to be a strickler for expiration dates. I feel like you can use products after, um, but that's really, really old. So I probably wouldn't Next is two Clean and Clear acne products and this one is the one I would recommend to you if you're looking for something from the drugstore. I think I just picked this one to try something new because I had used this one for so long. This is the Persigel 10 and this is, it says, acne spot treatment. Um, I actually don't use these any longer and I let these go too far to even use them. I'm using, I went through a period where my skin broke out terribly and it, I started using Retin-A which was doctor prescribed. So if you can't get to the doctor and you want something from the drugstore, this one is a really good one. But I am getting rid of both these way past the expiration date. Here we have the V. John Glitter Nail Polish Remover Gel. This does not work. Don't waste your money on it. It's not very expensive, but don't waste your money on it. It does not get rid of... Oh, let's put that down, shall we? It does not get rid of your glitter nail polish. And you could be sitting there for days and it still won't come off with this. So I'm going to be tossing that. Uh, then we have... This is the V Wax Strips. And I will be keeping this. This is... Let's see how many. I have a few in here that I think I will use for my eyebrows or like my mustache area, my chin area. Uh, I want to use these up. So it looks like what I'm keeping are the hair remover stuff. Here we have, this is another Beat In Shower Hair Removal Cream. I want to try this out. There's a lot in here and I think these are just, I haven't used these because they're a little bit, they're not convenient. You have to keep the stuff on your legs and try not to get it on anywhere before you get into the shower to wash it off. But I'm, I'm going to be on a mission to use these up. Okay, then we have the Porcelina for Balanced Skin Tone, and this is for nighttime. It's the Skin Lightening Cream, and I got this for dark spots, and you know, I'm going to talk about this and this because they're sort of not similar, but they both do the same thing to me. They irritate my skin, so I'm going to be tossing both. This one is the Mederma one, uh, and this is for fading scars. And I just want to show you, it just looks like this. It's a cream, but it irritated my skin. I did not like it, and the same goes for this. So I'll be tossing both of those, which is sad because that's probably my my main skin problem. Well, besides breaking out a lot, um, my skin has been behaving lately. But just the hyperpigmentation that I get from when I do get active breakouts, um, that's a you know that's why I use a heavier cover foundation. And I wish I could find something that would really improve. The dark spots on my face okay then we have this is the bikini zone it's a medicated cream for razor burn and things like that around the bikini line this didn't do much for me i still have oh, i try to use it up but i'm not going to finish that so I'll next be up that. are two bath and body works aromatherapy uh lotions and this one is eucalyptus spearmint which I absolutely love this scent. It smells so good. I have the candle and that smells just as good. And then this is the lavender vanilla. And 
I haven't used these, but I think what I'm going to do is on the days that I want my lotion to have a little bit of a scent, I will use either of these and try to use it up that way. Uh, then we have, oh, more Bath & Body Works stuff. Uh, this is the Aromatherapy Eucalyptus Experiment, and this is a roll-on, but I haven't used this, and I, you know what, let's see. I'm trying to see if I like this as a perfume oh but that I think all the fragrance is gone and it just smells like alcohol so that's I'll be tossing I have one in sound sleep but I'll be tossing that as well Ooh, it just it just smells like I sprayed on alcohol Oof. okay then here is this is the mentha lip butter and this is a lip exfoliator I use lip balm all the time, so I don't tend to reach for this. I think I'm going to toss it because I just, I never use it. And so I don't even want to test it out in the next two weeks. This is the Orgel Mouth Sore Medic, Medic, bleh, Medicine. And I'm going to toss this because it just looks gross. Um, but this works really well. If you have, if you're someone that kind of gets mouth sores inside your mouth, um canker sores this works really well for that and it just makes it numb and stops the pain because some cold sores i'm sorry some canker sores could be really really painful here is the proactive uh, advanced blemish treatment don't reach for this i use other products uh so i'll be tossing that uh this is the medicated menthol lip remedy cold sore and fever blister treatment I think I'm going to be keeping this. I just want to, um, I love menthol lip products and I want to see if, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, it smells good. Even though it's for cold star, I think I want to try to use it for my lips. So let's see how that goes. Here is the Origin No Puffery Cooling Mask for Puppy Eyes. I will be keeping this to test out for two weeks. Um, I don't like to take the time to put something on my eye for like 5-10 minutes and then wash it off. I feel like I'm always in a rush. So maybe this would be a good way to just um, slow down and give myself a little bit of time to do something like that for myself. And then here is the Burt's, oh, the last two products are Burt's Bees. So this is the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I'm going to hold on to this for the two weeks and see if I use it. I have used this, but it's not my favorite thing to do. Maybe I could do this at the same time I do the eye thing. And then this is the Burt's Bees Miracle Salve. And you're supposed to put this, let's see, uh, you could put this on your hair and your skin, but I, tr I tried to use it so many times. And I did use a good chunk of it, but it just smells really weird and I'm not going to reach for the, I don't, I don't reach for this anymore. Um, I, it's like another step that I don't remember to do. Like if I go outside, it's a windy day. I just don't use it. So I'll be tossing that and I think I did really well. So I'm keeping, I'm all about the numbers. So let me calculate and I'll be right back. Okay, so I calculated the totals and I am getting rid of 13 products and I will be keeping 7, but when I say keep, I'm going to be testing those out for 2 weeks and if I don't use those products within the 2 weeks, I will be tossing those as well, which I think is a good sign and I have been trying not to get gimmicky products anymore. Um, a lot of the things that I'm tossing are very gimmicky and... I'm, I'm going to try to be smarter about my purchases as far as skincare is concerned. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.